So in taping the thumb, uh, it's actually one of the more challenging uh, tape jobs that we're going to do. Uh, and the reason that it's challenging is the actual, the, the motion that we're trying to uh, prevent is going to be uh, kind of either hyperextension or uh, abduction of the, the, of the thumb. So what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to tape and secure it closer to the hand, but we still want him to have functionability of the thumb. So our positioning for in starting this is just to be in a nice neutral position with the thumb a little bit more kind of extended, uh, just like that, not too terribly far and not all the way secured down, just um, right about there, just like that. We're gonna take our pre-wrap. Um, we're gonna place this uh, directly over the thumb and just kind of push down. Uh, so that way we can kind of uh, secure our, um, our tape. We're gonna come around the wrist, and we don't have to go too terribly far down on the wrist, um, but just make sure again that there's no significant wrinkles. We're gonna take our one and a half inch of linen tape. We're gonna apply um, a couple of anchors directly right over the wrist. Not again, too terribly far down, not too terribly tight. We don't wanna necessarily cut off any significant circulation off of the wrist those are kind of nice and secure. The next two anchors are actually going to require half, um, um, half strips. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to kind of pull um, a half piece um, off on here. So I'm going to get a strip um, about yay long, but it's really only going to be about half of the length of the tape. I'm going to secure this to one side of the anchor I'm gonna wrap this down. I'm gonna secure this down to the other side of the anchor, making a nice angle motion down to here. Not too terribly tight. This is a tape job where if you pull this super tight, it actually cuts off a lot of circulation to the thumb and then that creates a little bit of a problem as well. I'm gonna continue on with that same side of my half inch strip and I'm gonna repeat that. I'm gonna create another anchor. So I'm gonna go from the medial side and wrapping down and going to the lateral side, just like that. And those, that gives me my anchor. Here's where it kind of gets a little, bit, a little bit complicated and a little bit more challenging. I'm gonna take another piece about the same length. I'm gonna to move up just a little bit, but instead of going from directly from anchor to anchor, I'm going to wrap this piece around and secure it to the palm side anchor, just like that. This allows this piece to come down and I'm not pulling this super tight. It's loose coming around, but I'm gonna place my thumb right here. I'm gonna push the thumb down as I attach this to the anchor. So if I hold those pieces down, that when he pulls and extends the thumb up, that's gonna start helping to prevent that motion. Some people call these the, the awareness strip. So many times that you'll see um, uh, people that have um, kind of the infinity sign um, on the back of their cars, it's kind of makes that kind of, you know, crisscross motion. So we're gonna do another one, but this time we're gonna move up more distal on the thumb, so overlapping about half. Again, not too terribly tight. Come here, I'm gonna pull and extend that down. And we're gonna do one more strip, just like that. I'm going to bring this down to the anchor, bring this down here and pull down. So now, again, with those nice and secure, you wanna make sure that he can't kind of bring his thumb up. Now, as you do this, you'll notice that the thumb starts to kind of turn a little bit more red because we are circling around the thumb and the tighter those are, the more circulation is gonna be cut off. So again, we don't want these tight around it. We just want it around and gives us that X, that kind of secure point right there to be able to pull down. So now you can kind of see I've got all of my half strips were taken off of one side. Now I'm gonna go over to the other side and start taking off the rest of the half strips. So I'm gonna grab that piece. I'm gonna go now from anchor to anchor, going down, across, 
overlapping by half. Continue to go over and over again, covering all of those pieces, going up as far up on the thumb as we can before you pretty much can't really go anymore. And secure that down into place just like that. We've got a couple more pieces that we're going to kind of secure down. We're gonna repeat our anchors, but now we're gonna go kind of in the reverse direction. And you'll notice if you do it right, I'm pretty much left with one last strip and that should end right at about the exact same spot. So we're not really wasting any tape and that second anchor goes and gets secured on. And then one last anchor around the wrist to hold those pieces down. And we're all set. Again, no significant wrinkles. Can hold it nice and tight. So now when he tries to kind of bring his thumb back, you can see how restricted he is and is not able to bring that thumb back into that uncomfortable position. Mm -hmm.